Okay, well, of course, uh, all week we've been doing this, talking about Giving Hearts Day, yes. and now tomorrow is Giving Hearts Day, so less than here. 24 hours away. Some of you maybe haven't decided who you want to help support. Patrick Kirby and Abby Furchner of Do Good Better Consulting are here to tell us how we can date our donors. Welcome to North Dakota Today, Pat and Abby. Hi, friends. How are you? Hi, you guys. Great. We are great. So are you Thank guys you. wearing, like, gym shorts on the bottom or anything <laughs> like that? We'll, we'll never tell. <laughs> never gonna tell. We won't make you dance today. And, and no kitty faces, although I would have uh, appreciated a little, you know, puppy yeah. ears or something on you, too. We were uh, contemplating the background of a giant cat meme uh, just for you this morning. <laughs> I would have loved that. That would be great. Okay, well, I want to talk about dating um, a little bit, dating your donors and, and picking your charity. But if people are not familiar with Do Good Better Consulting, tell us a little bit more about who you guys are. Sure. Oh, my goodness. We're a lot of different things. <laughs> we are. We're a consulting firm that helps nonprofits raise money. So uh, In we, a nutshell. In a nutshell. So that's pretty much what we do. We help them with small, medium-sized nonprofits figure out how to raise more money uh, and have more fun doing it. Hmm. You say, okay, so choosing charities mm -hmm. to be involved in is like dating. Explain that oh, metaphor. Yes. Yes. Well, it is. Well, the, you, the, the, the fact that you give, right, and the action of giving has the same chemical reaction in your brain mm -hmm. uh, than you do falling in love. Really? It's really kind of amazing, <laughs> right? So the more you give, the better you feel. We're bred for this kind of thing. And uh, we thought it'd be interesting because it's Valentine's Day, Giving yeah. Heart's Day coming up. Kind of a couple Great of way. tips that uh, you get to use while choosing a nonprofit to kind of learn to date with. Yeah. And there's one. So like our first tip. Probably the best way that you could find a donor or a nonprofit to give to is ask friends. You know, when you're dating, you might find that mutual friend uh, because you share the same likes, you share the same interests. So asking around, asking your friends is always a really, really easy way to maybe find an organization that you love. Yeah, kind of like dating. But again, there's always the case that you might be dating the bad boy. Yeah, right? you don't want that. The, no the, toxic relationships in 2021. No toxic <laughs> relationships, right? So it's like maybe the big organization that you mm -hmm. see everywhere, driving the super fancy car, right? But then you give them a gift, and they never call you back. And it's the last Bad time boys. you hear from them. And then they're, then they're hanging That's out with real. other people who've clearly given you gifts. That doesn't seem fair. So, hey, avoid the bad boys. You deserve, hey, you as a donor uh, deserve better. <laughs> you deserve uh, love. In you deserve love. <laughs> Uh, so find an organization that shares your enthusiasm, but is also grateful for your participation, whether you have time, talent, or treasure. Yes. Oh, and then our it. other one. So, okay. So say you, you know, you were dating the bad boy. You've been burned a couple mm. times. We've all been burned in our lives once or twice. But you know what? This year, this Giving Hearts Day is the time to... Put your toes back in the water, get your feet wet, and start kind of reaching out and giving again. Mm-hmm. Play the field. Play the field a little bit. Play it's kind of fun. Play the field, right on. I like that. So, okay, you're talking about, you know, finding the right date. <laughs> <laughs> the yes. right man, the right woman, whatever. No, just kidding. Um, so how can we tell if these charities are for real? Right. Yeah. Well, it, I, it's easy. Most of the most of the nonprofits uh, that you're going to bump into, that you're going to give to, are, are totally legit. They've been around for a while. But that's why it's really important to have conversations and do your research too. Remember, it's not about the organizations need to have your money, mm -hmm. but it's about you needing to feel great about giving. Right. So this is uh, donating is like one of the only selfish things that you can do. That's totally acceptable. Right. It feels good to give, so you're going to give, and you can be selfish about that. But find something that connects with you. Yeah. And then just ask around, have conversations with their executive directors or their or the people that are volunteering with them. They're gonna give you the lowdown and make sure that they're doing really, really well. You can always check their nine nineties. Uh, that's kind of an easy <laughs> way to do it. But really it's it's kind of ask around and and really connect with them and ask them questions that uh, hey, are you a good fit together? And of course, tomorrow is a big day for giving and giving money. It's a great day and, and all of the matches. But there are some other ways, and I feel like you touched on this, that uh, you can support a charity that you fall in love with besides giving money. Yeah, I mean, you can do volunteering. Um, that's a really good way to give back. And mm -hmm. I know, too, we kind of wanted to talk about this isn't the only day you should be giving either your money or your time to organizations. You have all year um, when it comes to events, going to their events, supporting them, you know, 
talking them talking about them on social media sharing their posts uh, there are other ways that you can support them like you just said Lisa besides giving money and um, just being kind of their supporters throughout the year as well is a really great way you can advocate for some organizations remember a healthy relationship uh, you can't just give them a Valentine's right, Day gift and, and then, then the last thing you do uh, with the, some that you're uh, you're dating or you're married to right it's an entirely different uh, thing for the entire year and there are a number of ways to uh, do that again yeah. whether you're sharing a social post or telling your friends about that organization organization and that's pretty amazing too it takes two both it. sides give and take give and take and uh, before we let you go we can't ignore the fact that abby you used to work here uh, of course and a lot yeah. of people ask where did she go well there she is here it is so uh, you still get to get your abby fix here on north dakota today every once in a while so thank you so much you two for sharing a little time thank with you. us thank you you were super fun thanks guys. Have a great one. appreciate it <laughs> Stay with us. Coming up next here on North Dakota Today. Kids are transitioning back into the classroom. Many teachers now are next in line to get vaccinated. And we are checking in with the Fargo School District next to see how it's going.